All right. We're going to get this call started. Welcome, welcome. Super excited and grateful to be on this call with everyone tonight. Hope you guys have been having, <clears throat> excuse me, an amazing week so far. I know I've been going absolutely crazy. Guys, today is Tuesday, September 26th, 2023. Three and uh, you know if you if you if you feel obliged to and you want to turn your camera on feel free lock in engage but uh, like I was saying really excited to be on this call with you guys if you are brand new to the team or you know the organization brand new to trading brand new to being in you know obviously uh, I genius in this company guys you are in for an absolute treat, man. This industry is literally absolutely exploding with the amount of people that are that are coming into it and realizing that there's just a better way. There's a better way for you to go out and obtain financial freedom for you and your family, guys, you know, from, right from the comfort of your own home. You know, I don't know another industry that allows you to make as much money as we are allowed to make inside this business, which there's no cap, especially with trading and network marketing. I don't know another business that allows you to make that much money with the amount of time freedom that it can provide you. It's absolutely life-changing. That's why I made the decision five years ago. You know, I was going to college, got a four-year degree in IT and business, professional sales certificate. Guys, I was working at Pepsi, was ready to go full force into the corporate field. I was literally locked and loaded and I decided to completely divert that path and go all in in this industry. And I'm very, very grateful that I made that decision because it changed my entire life. And so uh, just a little bit about this call, <clears throat> excuse me, this call, guys, it's, it's a Wi-Fi money leadership call. It's open to literally anyone every single week on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Okay, every single week, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Time, we're going to be doing this call. You know, we're open to, you know, when, when I was first getting on these calls, guys, when I heard my mentor five years ago speaking on these calls, teaching me things that I needed to know to get to the next level, I always was like, man, I would love to get on one of those calls and just share some information that's helping me get to the next level with other people. You know, I've always been in the business of helping other people, you know, get on, uh, you know, their, their, you know, high horse and onto the next level. And so, you know, if you're someone that's thinking to yourself, man, I would love to be able to speak on these calls reach out and talk, man, you know, and we'll come up with a game plan to have you absolutely start crushing the business and be able to share your story with everyone else guys and help people get to the next level. Okay. On these calls, we, we share new tips. We, we share skills, we share mindsets, we share, you know, experiences and stories that cause you to stretch your brain and never be the same. You know, who else do you know? You know, think about your friend group, your family, people that you're around every single day that are getting together like this and talking about this kind of stuff. There's not very many people around in the world right now. It's a sad thing to see. We got to go out there and change it. Okay. So like I was saying, my name is Josh Hamilton. I just wanted to get into a few things, guys. You know, these calls, they're designed to help you get to the next level of your business, right? And the whole goal for each and every one of us is to be pushing the needle forward. It's to be pushing the cement ball forward, right? If you're not pushing it forward, if you're doing nothing, it's going to go backwards, right? Nothing just stays the same. It's either going backwards, getting worse, or going forwards and getting better. That comes with your health. That comes with success, finance, your business, your career, your goals, everything. And so that's why it's so important to constantly be growing and, and changing, you know, the way you're thinking on a day-to-day -day basis. So with, with, you know, this company guys and this, in this vision and this business, you know, when you're going out and learning how to trade, understand, you know, if you never had this conversation with me or Jay or one of the other, uh, you know, uh, individuals within the company, trading takes time to learn how to master. Okay. Uh, for those of you that have been trading for a while, you understand that trading takes time. It's not something that you learn overnight. I've had multiple people, you know, get started over the last five years that have been like, listen, man, I, I want to quit my job in 30 days. And my goal is to be full-time trader in the next 30 to 60 days. Now I've seen some crazy success stories, like absolutely crazy, man. I've watched people that I've known come in within 90 days, make a hundred thousand dollars in trading. I've also watched people come in, barely know how to use a computer, barely know how to get on Google Chrome. And it took them four years, but now they made $100,000. So like I was saying, just give yourself time with trading. But you know, on these calls, what we're doing is we're teaching you how to go out there and actually make money through the opportunity. You know, Making money online is one of the best things you can do in today's day and age. You know, I know me personally, I didn't want to get up and go to a job every single day and have to go, you know, do things I didn't really want to do in places I didn't want to be for time periods that I didn't want to, you know, obviously allocate. And so that's why, you know, I'm willing to dedicate myself, my time, my focus, and my energy to making money online through this opportunity. So I have freedom. 
you know, guys, so this call, we're going to be talking about a little bit of mindset. We're going to be talking about obviously some skill sets that you need in order to go full time in this, some skill sets that you need in order to actually create a large organization, help thousands of people around the world and actually make a real impact. You going out to trade and learn how to make money. Yes, that's going to help you. That's going to help your family. If you decide to donate to charity, that's going to help them, right? But what's going to really help the average person is showing them that one, you were willing and dedicated enough to learn how to become successful in the opportunity as well, and then show them how they can do it. That's what's really going to change most people's lives around the world, guys. So I just want to get into a couple a couple little things uh, that are important when it comes to building this business. Uh, they're just a couple, I like to call them bolts and screws, right? A lot of you have probably heard this before, you know, the, these, these two things I'm going to discuss, but you got to hear it over and over and over and over and over and over again, right? You, you don't just hear something once. It's like when you watch a movie one time, right? And you, you hear it, you have your experience, but you watch it again, you start catching things that you didn't really notice. The first time you start understanding it a little bit different than you did the first time, you start having a different perspective. That's why it's important to reciprocate the same information and knowledge over and over and over again. Man, I have been saying the same thing with Jay on these calls for five years now, guys. None of this information we're going to go over is new under the sun, but it's important to hear it over and over and over again so you can get your head in the right space to go out and crush this, right? I have to re-listen to audios on a daily basis. I have to re-listen to certain mentors, certain speeches that made a really big impact in my life four to five years ago in order for me to stay on the right track, all right? So inside of this opportunity, guys, there are four skills that you need to master in this opportunity. And every single day, you should be growing them. You should be working on them. You should be listening to audios and positive personal development in any way possible to grow these skills. These skills are skills that it's not just going to help you inside this opportunity. It's going to help you as a parent. It's going to help you in relationships as a significant other. It's going to help you in relationships with your family, with people that you meet, with scenarios that you come across. Okay. So these four skills, if you're not taking notes, I highly suggest you do because 95% of the things that you're about to hear on this call, you will forget if you don't write this down. Okay. The call is being recorded and we will post in the chats later, but let's get started guys. Okay. So four skills that you need to study and master and take in and, and grow every single day for at least 30 minutes a day. All right. Number one is communication communication skills, right? How good are you at delivering information, understanding information, communicating with prospects, people, family, everyone? How good is your communication skills with the average person, right? Communication is number one. Number two is leadership. Okay. Leadership skills. Now, this is your ability to have influence, right? This is not just influencing people to want to do this opportunity. This is influencing people to make right decisions in their life, like your friends, your family, your kids, your parents, your brother, your sister, you know, uncles, nieces, nephews. It's your ability to have influence in a positive way on people. That's what leadership is, right? Managers try to convince people to do things they don't want to do. Leaders influence people to do things they didn't know they could do, right? They lead them to the path of greatness, okay? So number one, communication. Number two, leadership. Number three is mindset slash belief, okay? This one is arguably, in my opinion, one of the most difficult ones that I had to overcome, right? When I got into this business, I didn't believe in myself like I do nowadays. I didn't understand you know, my true potential, which we're gonna talk about here in a little bit, guys, but your mindset is your true, true, uh, key to where you're actually going to get in this business. Your mindset and belief is a direct reflection of what you actually will be able to accomplish, right? I have known people who are super negative and you know they're always saying bad stuff. They're always talking about this is going wrong. That's going wrong. Nothing's going right. I'm having the worst day. It's the worst week. I've had a terrible year. Nothing's in my favor. And it happens year after year after year. And can you kind of guess if anything's going to change? Probably not with that mindset, right? They have to they have to have a mindset shift, a paradigm shift, right? You have to start thinking everything is going to be in your favor. Everything is coming into your life, right? You are powerful enough to do that goal that you have, you know, accomplish that mission that you set, right? And the last skill, guys, of the four skills that you need to study every day, communication, leadership, mindset slash belief, and then is network marketing, guys. This is your ability to educate and inform people on an opportunity 
and then collect a decision. How good are you at network marketing? How good are you at being in your network and being able to market an opportunity, explain the information and education to them so they can make a decision, right? So those are four skills you need to study every single day. Hopefully you guys are writing these down. I live by these rules. I live by these skills that you need to study. I have tons of leadership books and audios that I listen to and have taken notes on over, over the years, guys. Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, 100%. A lot of the stuff that we're talking about is actually from that book. So number two, okay? This is a four-step system on how to build this business, okay? Right after I get past this, I'm going to really get into some mindset stuff, okay? But these are four, this is a four-step system on how to go out and build this business. It's very simple. You know, all you got to do is repeat the steps over and over and you will have a duplicatable business, right? So it's called IPET, all right? I-P-E-T. So I is inviting. The first and foremost thing you need to do when you want to go out there and have success in this opportunity, because there is enough success and the vision is big enough for all of us to be six and seven figure earners inside this business. 100%. Absolutely. You know, the, the only thing standing between you and making six figures in this business or seven figures is you, right? You guessed it. So I is inviting. Okay. That's the first thing, you know, this is where leadership comes in. This is where communication comes in, right? Inviting. Okay. Sharing the opportunity with people. Okay. Getting them to check out the opportunity, getting them exposed to the opportunity. The next one is P, which is presenting. Okay. First you get good at inviting. If you can't get good at inviting, you can probably guess what your future in this opportunity is going to look like, right? How do you get good at inviting? You just do it over and over and over again. Okay, so the next one is P, which is presenting, all right? We're not gonna go over how to present on these calls. You know how me and Jay learned how to present? Every single day when we were in college and we first got started and till this day, we watch the overviews, we watch the presentations, we listen to the same opportunity calls over and over and over and over again. And then what we did was we took notes on them and we just won on Zoom calls and we started practicing with prospects, right? There's an unlimited amount of prospects in the world. We just started doing it over and over and over again. And then we got really, really, really good. And that's really how it works, guys. You know, it's a practice makes perfect. So I, P, now E is enrolling, okay? Now, these are going to be the most important parts, right? A lot of people can get good at inviting. A lot of people can get good at presenting. Now, enrolling is actually setting someone up for success in this business. Getting someone started is the easy part. Getting someone to stay and become successful is the difficult part. So enrolling someone, a lot, I've seen tons of leaders in the past. I've seen tons of people inside opportunities. Doesn't even matter which company, which compound, what doesn't matter. I've seen people get people started. They get them started and they're like, awesome. Well, you know, here's uh, the Telegram group chat. You know, here's the website with all the information on it and good luck. Let's run it up. That person ends up quitting in 30 to 60 days, right? You need to properly set people up for success. Let them know that, hey, I am your accountability buddy. I'm here to work with you. I'm here to help you grow. And I'm here to help you dominate and crush your goals. You know, you got to set them up in the proper way. You know, introduce them, explain the information to them, guide them, hold their hand a little bit, right? You know, when a, when a baby's first born, First thing they learn how to do is crawl, right? And then eventually they learn how to hold on to something and stand up, you know, and then they let go and they start wobbling and then they fall, right? And then they eventually can learn how to stand without holding anything and then eventually walk and then eventually run. So you kind of got to hold your new enrollment, your new person, your new team member's hand when they're brand new. You know, think about when you were, when you were brand new, you know, whether it was this opportunity or another one. Did someone hold your hand when you were getting started? Maybe not, but I'm telling you the way to go out and absolutely crush this opportunity is to hold their hand until they're able to be on their own, stand on their own, okay? And guys, the last one in the four-step system, I-P-E-T, is training, okay? When someone is now in the business, they understand the opportunity, they're going through the academy, they're learning how to trade, they're getting on the trade sessions, you know, they're, they're furthering their skills, and they decide, hey, I want to go out and crush this opportunity, or I want to go out and I want to get a free account inside this business, you have to train them the four-step system. You got to train them on how to invite, on how to present, 
on how to enroll, you know, one step at a time and then train them how to train their new person, how to invite, present, enroll and train. And it goes all the way down, guys. This is what creates a massive duplicatable business all across the globe where you will never have to work a job again. It's very, very simple, guys. And I'm willing to work with you individually if you want to reach out, obviously, and talk about that stuff, okay? So <clears throat> hopefully you guys are getting some knowledge by now. If you haven't heard that stuff before, that is ground zero stuff. That is literally the most important stuff in this business when it comes to the bolts and screws, right? But now I want to talk about something, all right? I'm sure a lot of you have reached out to tons of different people, tons of different prospects. You've talked to people, you know, share, tried to share the opportunity and things like that. Well, I want to talk about harnessing the power of following up with people. Okay, how to actually harness the power of the follow-up, right? Sometimes it takes people a while to make a decision and actually see the power of network marketing, right? Oftentimes, you know, you probably really understand this opportunity. You probably really understand why this is so amazing, why so many people want to do it, why literally there's uh, this is the second industry that's made the most millionaires inside the world besides real estate. You know, you see financial freedom inside this company, right? You see it within network marketing. I'll admit, I, I'm definitely not the best with following up either, but you know, thank goodness that the person who got in contact with me followed up with me though. Thank goodness they followed up with me, right? They reached out to me multiple times because guess what? It took me three to four exposures to even say yes in this business. First time the person who got me started in network marketing reached out to me, I literally pretty much ended the Zoom call and hopped off. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Like, I, I don't know. Like, that doesn't even look legal, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even a part of it, right? I was ignorant. I didn't understand. I said no. And then he kept following up with me. You know, sometimes it takes seeing the opportunity multiple times for you to get it. The average person needs three to five exposures in this business to understand it. Think about it. The first time you ever saw a presentation for maybe this company or the first one you were in or whatever the case may be, or even trading, did you get started right away? If so, yes, if you did, that means you have CEO decision-making skills. But most people, it takes multiple times for them to actually want to get started. They need to see other people having success. They need to see someone like them having success. They need to see you know, more about the company and the opportunity, right? So sometimes you just got to give people a little more patience, right? I have people from six years ago that I went to college with that have watched me have all this success over the last six years that are finally saying, hey, man, I think I'm ready to get started. And I go, well, about time. Let's go. So you just got to give people patience, guys. It, it took me a little while to see it. And maybe it took you a little while to see it, right? It might take your prospects a little bit of time to see this opportunity, okay? Sometimes, you know, if they've seen a little bit of the opportunity and, you know, they're just not quite getting it, they're just not quite understanding it. As long as they're somewhat interested, as long as they're like remaining a little bit open, then I'm going to keep following up with them. I'm going to keep trying to help them see the beauty of what it is that our opportunity has. I'm going to keep trying to see or help them, you know, blind people see what it is that we're doing, right guys, with our products and services, with the opportunity. So what do you say to people when you're following up, right? What do you say to them when you're following up with people? Okay. So, you know, th this is just what's worked for me over the years. Okay. And it, it might be different for you. Right. But, you know, let's say a, a, a prospect named Aaron, right? <clears throat> Aaron, listen, as talent, as talented and charismatic as you are, whatever is true, right? You want to be genuine. People love compliments. You know, if you, if you ever read the book, um, how to win friends and influence people, guys, they talk about, you know, complimenting people all the time in a genuine way, right? That's the way to, <laughs> someone's holding the book up right now. Let's go. Hey, nice job, Brian. Let's get it, man. Um, you know, as talented and charismatic as you are, you know, like I said, everyone loves compliments. I really know that if you were to understand this and, and truly get the vision of what it is that we're doing, you know, you can absolutely crush this and you can change your life in a big way. Okay. So listen, I just feel like if you were to, uh, I just feel like you owe it to yourself, you know, uh, to get all the information, to make an informed and educated decision. And if the answer is no, and you don't want to do this, I'll support that. But I really want you to know and see what you're saying no to. Hey guys. So, you know, like I said, 
this is recorded, I would use that follow-up, right? It's 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 really getting inside of, of their head and getting them to understand sometimes they're saying no to something they don't even understand, you know, and how yeah, how they can fit in to uh, the opportunity as well. 100 percent Alex. Yep, with the vision. So <clears throat> Once you share that follow-up with them, what do you do? The first thing you do is you book them to the next event. You book the next meeting, you the next live event. Meet me here. Come to this training. Join this webinar. Join this Zoom call. Attend this meeting, right? We have one tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time in 30 minutes. You know, following up is the mother of all success, right? 80% of people who ever even join this business on your team is going to be because you followed up with them. So you got to learn what BAM fam is book a meeting from a meeting. When I do a presentation, when I, when I do a live event, when I do anything, I'm always setting up another meeting, right? If someone's not ready to join at a live event, I set up a call with them in like three, four, five days. So we could talk about it a little more or even 24 to 48 hours. I'm always booking another meeting from a meeting. Otherwise time just goes on, right? So sometimes people don't see it the first time and every once in a while, when they see it again, they're all in and the light ball comes on. Okay. So <clears throat> then they go out and they get to crush it in a really, really big way. If you guys are kind of understanding this, if you're gaining some knowledge right now, I want you to drop some threes in the chat. If you're gaining some knowledge, if you're getting focused right now, if you're, if you're locking back in, if you're understanding, you know, the keys to success inside this business, guys, go ahead and drop a three in the chat. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful night so far. I wanted to talk about something right now. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to be passing it over to my business partner, a uh, good friend and, and also mentor Jay Patno guys. One thing I wish I knew five to six years ago when I got started in this business, right? When I got started in network marketing five to six years ago, I wish that I knew that I was way more powerful than I thought I was. Okay. It's important to look at the past so we don't repeat it. Right. And so I wish I knew that I was way more powerful than I thought I was five years ago, guys, five years ago, I was not full-time in this business, uh, in network marketing. I was struggling. I felt like I was, you know, not a talented leader. I didn't feel like I was talented at communication. I didn't feel like I was good at leadership. I felt like literally a failure in this business, guys, 100%. And by the results that I had in my bank account, I was, right? And when, when I look back to five years ago, you know, I, I was way better than I thought I was. I was way better than I thought I was, right? It's it, But because I didn't think I was talented, I refused to show my gifts. Because I didn't think I was talented, I refused to show my gifts and put myself out there, right? And and do my true potential. I didn't see it myself. I didn't, I didn't understand how powerful I was, guys. I was trapped in a bubble of fear. I was in my own little tiny personal bubble of fear. And I didn't understand how powerful I truly was, right? And so I had a lot less courage back then because I just didn't think I was enough like at all. And so, you know, if I were to go back five years ago, the biggest thing I would wish is that I knew that I was way more powerful than I thought I was five years ago. That's the number one thing I wish I would have known is that I was way more powerful than I was, man. And so even three years ago, when Jay and I got to a full-time six-figure plus income, right? I still didn't know how powerful I was. I still did not know how powerful I was at that point in time, three years ago, when we got to a full-time income, even a year and a half ago, I still did not know how powerful I was. So over the last few days, I've been thinking about this and, it, and it's so freaking obvious. You know, if, if I look back five, five years ago, it's so obvious that I was way better than I thought I was. You know, I, I was way more powerful than I thought I was 100%. I had way more leadership than I thought I did. I just wasn't using it. I just was not using it. It's plain and simple. As I think about it today, you know, as, as I think about that today, you know, what does that make true about today right now? What am I going to be thinking 10 years from now about today? What am I going to be thinking 20 years ago or 20 years from now about today? Am I going to be thinking, I, I, I'm going to be thinking I was way more powerful than I thought I was at this exact moment in time, guys, you know? So today I realize that I am way more powerful than I think I am. And it goes for you too. All right. This isn't about me. This is about you. You are way more powerful than you think you are. 
one hundred percent. You are way you are way better than you think you are, but you have been hiding out. You've been trapped in a bubble of fear in many cases, and I'm not saying some of you have. I'm saying all of you have. Okay, and it's it's because I don't care where you are in the business. Okay, you may be crushing it right now, but here's what I do know: you've got another level that you can get to. 100%. You have another level that you can obtain inside this opportunity, inside your life, inside your relationships. There is another level that you can obtain. You don't realize how powerful you are. No matter how powerful you think you are, you don't truly realize how powerful you are as a human being right now. What I think that is true is that God gives us an incredible gift, right? And that gift is potential. God gives us potential. It's your ability to prove to yourself how powerful you really are in this one life that you have. One life that you have, guys. You know, you don't get a do-over, right? We have unlimited potential inside this life. Unlimited power, guys. And what any man or woman can do, you can also do. If someone else can do it, you can also do it as well, guys. You know, we we put if if we put our heart and our soul into it, you know, and we back it up with our work ethic, we can go out and we can have it 100%. You know, the, the message I want you to get is that you are way better, way better than you think you are. Okay. You are enough. All right. So I know you may not think you're enough for whatever the reason is, you know, maybe it's, it's with the business where you are right now. Maybe it's with trading and your experience with it so far, uh, your relationships, whatever it may be, but I'm telling you right now, you are enough to have success, to go out and crush it, to accomplish the goals that you set in this business. When you first got started, maybe the ones you have right now, if you're brand new, you are enough to go out and actually accomplish those. So if you go 10 years from now and you look back, you will realize what I said was absolutely true, okay? So stop hiding out, get out of the shadows, and let's go create something beautiful, right? Let's go out and make a massive difference around the world together, and let's live life full out, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the call so far. I hope you've gotten some good information, some knowledge, man. We are about to absolutely launch and explode inside this business. And I hope you are there to catch the ride guys, because listen, there's a small, small time frame in every single company out there where the company has an absolutely insane growth and you are living in it right now. The time is literally present for you to lock in and engage and push yourself and understand how powerful you are guys. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be passing over to my business partner, good friend, mentor, and also one of the most badass traders that I've personally met guys around town. So Uh, With that being said, if you have not been taking notes, I really hope that you guys take notes right now. This individual has literally helped tens of thousands of people over the last five years, has traveled the entire world, you know, through this business and has been able to just make a massive, massive impact. You know, it's, it's a special thing when you get to get on a call with someone and you're able to hear all the education information that they've obtained over years condensed down into a short period of time, guys. So with that being said, give it up for Jay Patton. Let's drop some sevens in the chat. Let's go, baby. (laughs) You muted. Oh, got you. Boom, there we go. What's going on, everybody? I appreciate the introduction. As always, brother, you know, I am, um, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Jay Patnode, and I have been rocking the mustache as of late, so it's a little different for me to get used to seeing myself in the in the camera, but I hope everybody's had a fantastic night and had a fantastic day, and I hope you guys soaked up a lot of the knowledge and, um, you know, stuff that Josh is talking about, because realistically, guys, the point of these calls are to condense, like he was saying, condense all the stuff that we've learned over the years and give it to you so you don't have to make the same mistakes. You know, when we first came into this business, we didn't necessarily have the right teachings, the right mentorship, um, to be honest. We really didn't get, you know, the mentorship that we really wanted until we hit a certain income level. We didn't, this wasn't the type of things that were happening actually in our first company. We were the ones that actually set up the weekly leadership calls and started ourselves and then started having other, you know, leaders hop on and do things like that. So we never really had that at the beginning. And so that's why I want you guys to understand that these are awesome. 
you know, the ones that we do, the one that IG, the ones that IG is provide, take all the information, put it down and utilize it because there are so many different nuggets and different tips and tricks. And just being here already puts you ahead of the game because you're learning information that took us five years to compile and you get to learn it now. Right. And you get to utilize it now. And that is my favorite part. That's why I love speaking on these things. That's why I'm excited for us to have a schedule back locked in because this is one of my favorite parts of the whole entire industry is getting to share that information because I tell people, you know, what good is information? What good is knowledge if you're not going to spread it, if you're not going to use it or if you're not going to spread it? I have to use it and I have to be able to spread it and share it with other people so maybe it can help them along their journey. So with that being said, guys, I have a few different things I want to talk about, but realistically, I have three different quotes that I want you guys to write out. I'm going to explain a little bit about them. These quotes have been um, honestly just ringing in my head for the last month, realistically. They've been ringing in my head in the last month with us and the transition and everything. So I want you guys to write these down. I'm going to talk about them and why they're so powerful to me. And so the first one I heard this, I want to say a year back, but it said, there's a big difference between one day and day one. There's a big difference between one day and day one. You know, a lot of people are always saying one day I'll do this. One day I'm going to go ahead and, you know, start reaching out to people. I'm going to start learning or I'm going to start, you know, working out or whatever it may be. And then a lot of people don't ever get to that point, right? They push it because then a year goes by, 365 days go by. Okay, this year, brand new year. We got the new year coming up in a couple of months. New year, new me. Let's make these goals. Let's crush it, right? And things like that. And so they're always saying one day, but there's a huge difference between one day and day one. You need to make today, day one. You need to make today, day one. Choose today, choose now to understand that all the stuff that you've done in the past, it doesn't matter. It's a brand new start, a fresh start. And you know, a lot of people need that, a brand new fresh start. We are bringing over our amazing trading systems and educators to iGenius with, they, with what they already have to offer. And what they have to offer, if you haven't already checked it out, <clears throat> excuse me, is phenomenal. You know, I think we were the missing piece. And if you are able to utilize and take into account all the things that are here, plus all the stuff that we are bringing, there has never been a better time to make today your day one. So let's make today day one for everything that you have coming up in the future, because don't choose to start in three months. You know, there are people out there that are hungry, that are working, that want that success, that are choosing, you know, that chose last week is one is day one, or chose the beginning of the year is day one. Don't let them get that leg up on you and put in that work. And now the second one, and this one I've been feeling a lot the last like two weeks is some people have 20 years of experience in one year and some may have one year of experience 20 different times, 20 times. So I'll say that again. Some people may have 20 years of experience in a year and some may have one year of experience 20 times. And that is super powerful for me. So what, what does that mean? You know, there are people that take 365 days, take one year and do the absolute most with it. They're studying, they're grinding, they're hopping on these calls, they're hopping on trading sessions, they're talking to mentors, they're going to events. They are making sure that they are putting as much time, energy, and effort that they can possibly give to their goals, to their learning, to their dreams, to their ambitions in one year. And then there's other people that live the exact same year that I'm going to do, I'm going to do it, I'm going to go hard, I'm going to do this in my business, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of effort, and they do that for 20 years in a row. And they look and they wonder, okay, I've been in it for so long, but why am I not having the success that I want? It's because you're not putting the energy and effort, you're doing the same exact things over and over. If the same thing is not working, it's not the dreams that are wrong, it's not the goals that are wrong, it's your approach to the game. You know, just like sports, right? You know, if you're, if you're practicing the wrong habits, the wrong methods over the wrong styles of the game over and over and over again, and you say you're playing basketball and you're practicing your jump style and shooting like this, you know, your consistency is not going to be there. You have to understand that this is just like anything else. You put the right work in, you put the correct amount of effort in, you will have that success. So start having that 20 years of experience in one year versus having that same type of of year over and over and over again. It's time to make a difference. It's time to change something. It's time to actually put the 
work in. And then the last one, this one was a quote actually by a family member of mine and they said it and I don't even think they knew what they were actually saying um, at the time. That's why I was kind of funny, but it's, I don't know what the future holds, but I hold the future. Very simple. I don't know what the future holds, but I hold the future. And when he said it, I, he had no idea what the hell he's talking about, but it hit me so hard because you do not know what the future holds. You don't at all, right? You do not know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen in 10 minutes from now. You don't know what's going to happen in a year from now, but you hold the future. You can control what you do in the present, which will control or help control what you do in the future. Everything that you are doing right now, the results will come in three, six, nine months, a year. So if you're sitting there wondering, hey, I don't like the success I'm having, or why am I in this position, or what has happened? It's all decisions that you made three, six, nine, 12 months ago. It's very plain and simple. Every decision has, every action has a reaction, whether it's good or bad. And no action still gives you a reaction, right? So understand that you need to be cognitive. You need to be aware of what's going on right now and take advantage of that. Take advantage of the time that you have. You know, if you're someone that likes to binge watch Netflix for four hours a day, what could you do with those four hours? Working out, study more. You know, if you're in school, study for a test. And, you know, you, there's always something that you're reaching out to prospects, watching videos that can help you grow and expand your mindset, reading books. You know, what are you doing on a daily basis, right? So understand that you may not know what the future holds but you hold the future. And if you don't like where you're at, you have to start making a change now. And what does that change look like to you? What do you got to really ask yourself? What do you want a year from now? Where do you want to be? What type of success do you have? What type of car do you want to drive? What type of life do you want to be living? Where do you want to be living? You know, who do you want to be doing it with? And understand that you control that. You can control that if you can control the present, or at least you can steer it in the right direction. I'm not going to say, you know, you working right now is going to make you a millionaire in 365 days. No, but could it make you a millionaire in three years? Could it make you in five? Could it make you in 10? Absolutely. So understand those three quotes have been ringing in my mind the last few months. And there's a diff big difference between one day and day one. Some people have 20 years of experience in one year, and some people may have one year of experience 20 different times, and I don't know what the future holds, but I hold the future. Simple, guys. Understand, and I hope those hit you as much as those hit me, because it really made me realize, especially with the situation of us coming and merging with iGenius, I'm so excited for this. I've, I've been pumped for it. I love the company, as you guys may know. Josh and I were here in a um, years back, and we loved it. And those are kind of the things that have been ringing on my mind. You know, choose today to be your day one, brand new slate, have that 20 years of experience in one year and control your future. Control your future by controlling your present. And that's all I can really tell you guys. And that's all I really wanted to say. I wanted to keep it short and simple with you guys. And I hope you guys got some value in it because that has been something that I've been really feeling the last couple of months. And so for those that do not know, we have a overview call coming up here in 15 minutes. If you have any guests, any friends, family, anybody that you want to see, anybody that may have already seen the information that needs to see it again for a second time. Because I saw in the chat, you know, it takes six different exposures. Send the link out, guys. Make sure you'll see it in the telegrams or Josh, maybe somebody can post it in the chat, but get ready for it. Get on and start understanding the presentation like Josh was talking about at the beginning of the call. We learned it by getting on the calls and just listening to other people say it, taking notes and then doing it ourselves. And was it pretty at first? Not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily, but did it get better time after time after time? Absolutely. Because there is no better practice than actually doing it. You know, you can read, you can study trading, you can study building, but unless you actually put that um, physical energy or physical movement into it, you're not going to actually have success with it. Practical application. Exactly. So understand that's how you have success in this industry, guys. And so I don't know if Josh wants to take it back or if I should close up the call. No. Okay. Well, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys found a lot of value. If you guys need anything, make sure you reach out in the chats, to, um, Josh and I or any of the other leaders, because we are going to crush this. And I was just talking to Alex. We're about to put in tens of thousands of people here. We are going 
to crush it. We have a home. We have a stable home. We have a place that we know that we can build off. And I want you guys to utilize this as your day one and pretend like you've never done anything before. Just go at it, go all in, and let's have massive success because the top is where we all should be and the bottom is way too damn crowded. So I love you guys. I hope you guys got some value. Um, everybody have a phenomenal night. Presentation with Corey Cromer and Anthony Napolitano in 15 minutes. Make sure you invite your guests. Make sure you're on. Make sure you're soaking up the information because it's going to be a fire one. Those two are powerhouses in the industry. Millions of dollars made in between the two of them. Tens of millions of dollars. So let's crush it. Now we'll see you guys all there. I love you and peace.